not your traditional insurer. Ping An Group likes to think it's a tech company. When I joined, we only have 3,000 developers. We now have 30,000 developers. Any leading company in different sector are now becoming technology companies. So Ping An obviously is an insurance company, but at its heart, it's a tech firm. It's almost like Amazon. It's an e-commerce company, but it's a tech company. We're given rare access inside one of Ping An's R&D labs to find out what goes on behind closed doors. It's totally different than other robots on the market. This is Aid, Ping An's new service robot. Team leader Bob Zhao has been gearing up his team for its mass launch. The Aid now has launched in many different scenarios, such as the hospital, the schools, and the bank and bank or insurance physical store. So for the bank stores, they need to recognize this a real person or a fake one with a voice print and face recognition. Algorithm engineer Laurent Law also shows us a behavioral detection system they've been working on for homes. If a person fall down, the system detects it, it will call the emergency center. Fellow engineer Ling Wei Yu says this robotic concept could be used to dispense medicine in hospitals. We already automated all the process and they're trying to free our hands. Ping An invests around 1% of its revenue on R&D, which comes up to roughly $1.6 billion a year. Money spent to develop blockchain or AI, such as microfacial recognition for bank loans. I currently now oversee a portfolio of 190 projects. Mm -hmm. uh, we have five uh, teams in kind of incubating. If they're successful, they'll become companies and 11 tech companies, right? So it's a very corporate kind of venture capitalist model, if you will. There are gates they have to pass through. At a various gate, they need to show that they have the uh, value proposition, they can create traffic, mm. uh, they will bring in revenue before they finally be profitable. So what's the next big tech for Ping An? Right now, we are very focused on smart city. These days, I, I spend so much time doing city-related work. Uh, I think there's a lot of things that you can do from traffic. Uh, to elderly home care, uh, to AI education, um, you know, these uh, pollution even, and we're using trying to use IoT. Uh, you know, we're experimenting with five G and stuff to see how you can do that better. So these are exciting stuff that we are uh, working on, and I, I hope over the next few years we will really make an impact. Hi, I'm Christine Tan, and thanks for watching Managing Asia. Do check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thanks for watching.